Hey everyone, I'm back, and I have my trusty scissor. You know what that means. Got a little box from Sweetwater. Ah, stop it! Got a bunch of fucking candies from Sweetwater, of course, right? What do I want? I'm not gonna go crazy. I have the uh, little peppermint. Rev. How does this thing open? Oh, okay. There's a sticker on the bottom. Ah, there's a little feet. Okay. Settings, okay. There's a little settings card. Thank you card. A little starter. Settings. So, bass, mid, treble, gain, bass. Basically, like a neutral setting. I wonder if I want a neutral, which is everything almost, everything almost in the middle. So that's the Rev G4. G, yeah, G4. Let's see. see what this one sounds like. So I'm gonna play clean or without the uh, pedal on. And I'm gonna start right out of the gate with the with the red channel. There's a little toggle for blue and red. So apparently the G4 is supposed to be based off of the red channel in the rev is it called the generator right i think that's what the uh, head is called so let's see <laughs> nah, i don't like it all right so let's see let's do treble at three o'clock mid at ten o'clock bass at two Volume at one o'clock, gain at three. Oh, let's see. So I now have the Rev4 G4 with the Pathos. Let's see. Oh, wow. Two completely distinct tones, right? Oh, you know, yeah. 
between the Pathos and the uh, Rev uh, 4G is the 4G is brighter. So if you like that brighter sound, I literally have the two of them exactly the same and I'm shocked at how much different it is. And of course it has everything to do with diodes, capacitors and resistors that they put in there um, and how, you know, how they, each company tweaks them. Um, so, but it's interesting how much different they are. They look almost exactly alike. I mean, from the from the from the switch to the knobs, knobs are different, but they're both they're actually situated exactly the same places. Um, so let me play around with it a little more. Let's. See. More bass. the day fell in love with the Abasi Pathos um, I'm actually loving the Rev G4 infinitely more um, like more to the point where I like it just as much as I like my KH uh, uh, DK Paranormal uh, which is an absolutely incredible pedal but the Rev 4 G4 is actually really good <laughs> like that Mesa Boogie rectifier uh, tone where it's deep throaty but has that fucking you know I don't I, I can't even say tightness but this sounds like an ultra tight rectifier if that makes sense if you have a rectifier then you know the only way you can have a tight rectifier is by putting some kind of a boost in front of it uh, that's what that pedal sounds like the G4 
the pathos, I'm probably going to return it. <laughs> like, it's interesting. Like, it's that... It's... I just realized that the G4 is much more to my liking than the pathos, which I loved the other day, until the G4 came in and just crushed it. So, um, if you have the $240 for the uh, Rev G4, get it. I think it's worth it. That pedal is absolutely amazing. Um, the Pathos is great too. It's just a different voicing. So, you know, it's going to be a little, a little higher range. Actually, no, sorry. It's a little lower and the Rev G4 is a little higher, a little tighter. So let's do that again. That's the Rev G4. This is the, this is the Abbasi. Different settings. Okay, so let's uh, let's retract most of that to some degree. So the Rev G4, you know, like any pedal, right? You have to adjust it. So clearly, I had the Pathos differently because I haven't. I just have it. You know, it's just going through the front. I don't have it through the loop. So it's going through the preamp on my JCM 800. Um, so the two, in order to, to be fine tuned. You would have to play around with both of them, but I actually like the pathos again. Ooh, let's hear what the Ref G4 sounds like now. Ooh, still sounds good. awesome the rev g4 get it get it get the g4 if it's between the two and you like a rectifier tone get the g4 okay if you like do i dare say a darker tone then get the abasi because now that i hear the difference between the two of them that's what i think is going to be the main difference between the two is just that higher pitch versus low end uh, tone. But the Rev G4, absolutely love it. You know, and it's, it's funny, now that I've kind of played around with it, you know, I was just uh, saying how I'd probably just go ahead and return the uh, bossy. That shit's, the, it's sick anyway. What the fuck am I talking about? I just fucking, I just caught myself. Like, dude, don't sell that shit. You just got it. You loved it the other day. What happened? The G4 came along. Dude, it's like having a hot girl and how a girl just walk by? What the fuck? So, all right. So, check out the Rev G4. It's an absolutely amazing pedal. You're going to love it. There are a few guys that, uh, that have comparison uh, videos between the G3 and the G4. Those videos are the reasons for my... Or it's, it's the reason for me getting the G4 instead of the G3. A few friends were like, dude, get the G3. Don't worry. You know, don't get the G4. Just crank the gain um, on your amp, but I actually do the opposite. I cut back the gain on my amp and I crank the gain on the pedal. 
Um, so, so that's my take. Uh, if you if you're into the chug fest. All right, everyone. Listen, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. You know, you guys, uh, you know, leave the best comments. And, you know, a bunch of you guys have actually friended me on Facebook. And, you know, I feel like you guys are my boys. Like, we just, you know, we're on Instagram and we're going back and forth. Like, dude, I just got this guitar. Hey, do me a favor. You know, when you get the Rev G4, make sure you tag me so I can see it. Um, you know, like, you guys are awesome, dude. You know, listen, we're just normal fucking people. You know, we just love playing and... We love our toys, and, you know, it's all about having fun. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And, as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon. I don't even know what the heck I'm going to do next. I don't have any other... Oh, I do! Ah, stop it! Yo, yesterday I ordered the... What is it? The Amp Tweaker something or other Junior. What is it? I don't even know. It's the, apparently the guy, the engineer, the engineer that tweaked the PV5150 for Eddie Van Halen left PV and started his own company called Amp Tweaker. And he has a pedal that I paid 234, 30 for it yesterday, 120, 220, something like that. But it's in the 200 something range. Uh, I, I I think I just spent $1,200 on fucking pedals like in the last, you know, 10 days. Um, so that's going to come next. So if you haven't checked out the Amp Tweaker, such a stupid fucking name, Amp Tweaker. Come on, son. Come on, son. How does that dude not come up with a different name? I'm the Amp Tweaker. <sighs> Yo, you could have named it fucking anything. Anyway, so that's the next pedal. That's probably going to be the next video. So subscribe. So when I post that video, you get to watch it and you get to laugh your ass off. And as usual, thank you so much. You guys are the best. And I'll talk to you guys soon.